Okay, before we get started with the guide tongue construction, we're going to talk about the guides themselves. I'm using the Slotting Plus PCS uh, Big Guides, the personal cutting system. These are great for wood tracks, tall posts. They allow for the, uh, the set screw installation. Blades are nice long and fit uh, just about any wood track because you can trim them. That's what the little lines are there for. You can trim them, adjust them. So these are the guides we're using. They're pretty good. You get two in a pack for the price of one of other brands. So we've been using a lot of these in our scratch builds. Anyway, the construction of the tongue is based on the on the post here. So that'll work for Slot It and other, other brands of guides. So just wanted to share that with you. Now we're going to move on to making our guide tongue. Okay, so for part of our guide tongue, we're using uh, K&S brass, stock number 264. This is 1 8 by quarter rectangle brass tubing. I use, uh, I start out with one piece and I scribe a center line and then I mark the area for the guide post. You'll notice I leave a little bit of extra material out here in front. We're going to sand this to contour it a little bit, so I always go in a little. And then I uh, put the guide post over there, kind of mark the area for center to, to drill it. Now to start drilling it, since you, you can't really punch it or anything uh, to start your drill mark, I just use a, a pin vise and I start by hand and I start taking some of the material away then once I have a start point then I can go over to the drill press and finish the hole okay so I came back from the drill press I got my first hole drilled there it's pretty simple sometimes you'll you'll get a little bit off don't worry about it I don't think I've ever drilled one perfectly yet and you'll notice that size I'm using is perfect for the guide however Again, like we discussed, we're going to have to sand this and we're going to contour this so the guide fits all the way down on there. So, we'll get that sanded up and then we're going to show you how to place it in the chassis. Okay, you've seen that I've shaped the front of this brass right here, rounded it off, sanded it down in order for it to clear the bulkhead of the guide. It slips on there. Now it's nice and smooth. Good rotation. Fit is good. So now we're ready to finally get to the chassis to figure out exactly where it's going to go on the front end we're going to show you that right now okay so to determine where we're going to mount our guide tongue you notice I have the body in place kind of centered over the front axle here and you notice we have a little bit of room here to work with with a resin body you can sand a little bit away not too much but essentially I, have, I like to put the guide in the tongue and the mount under it where it's supposed to be and then I can easily gauge where and how far I can bring that forward so once I do that and I see where it's going to be then I can just mark it with my little sharpie and now I know where to solder once we get it back up on the setup block then we can make sure it's centered I use the uh, I like to put the guide in there it helps me to visualize and to see so I just use the slot car corner setup block but any setup block uh, with a slot cut in, it's going to get the job done. Okay, so we've finished soldering our guide mount on here. Everything looks okay. You'll notice the excess right here. Now we're going to trim this off, and basically, you're done. You can just uh, trim your guide post and mount it, and trim your post and install it. But that's not what I do. I add a little bit more strength this isn't required you don't have to do it but I do so I'm going to uh, utilize this piece right here and we'll show you that in just a second okay you can see that I've cut this piece off and I've installed it on top of the original now the reason I do this for a couple of reasons first of all it increases the strength back here when you solder all the way through here and it gives a little more material here for these tall guide posts so you don't have to trim as much and helps reduce any slop uh, by doing it so I just like doing it for the increased strength um, seems to work well now uh, usually I do this all in one shot and then and then drill my hole but now that it's mounted on here like this I can solder this and then simply go from the bottom and re-drill so we'll get that done 
and then we're finished with our guide. Okay, it's all finished. Mounted, soldered, cleaned up, sanded and contoured. Our guide rotates freely. Now, some people have asked how to clean up some of the solder. I am certainly not a solder artist by any means like some other people out there. So if I get a little heavy handed with the solder, I use these buffing wheels and stuff that, that Dremel has. Uh, they're in the quick disconnect um, section of the Dremel. Um, basically just scouring pads that uh, will clean away any excess solder with a little bit of effort. So anyway, we're done. We're finished with this. So now we're going to move on to making our side pans. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to cut this chassis and put in some adjustability for it if you so desire. But if you measured it correctly and it's spot on, dead on the money, when you put your body up there, then there's no need for that. But I'm going to show you how I make it adjustable and then we're almost finished with our chassis.